Hey guys, we are back with another episode of Humans of Pesto. Today we've got a very very interesting pesto alumni. We've got Ayush who is from Bihar who is our pesto alum and you know what he's doing some crazy work with a US based uh, startup. Obviously he is going to tell you about what he's doing, what what exactly is he building on and uh, just to give you a brief introduction I used joined our program and uh, last year and he was able to upskill himself through the program and obviously his journey has been very inspiring coming from uh, Bihar he is doing some remote job he has a complete remote work so he is also going to share what kind of challenges and uh, you know positive aspects of remote work has been at least for him so we are very excited to hear his journey and yes so let's hear it from ayush so how are you ayush uh, thank you so much for taking out time and coming to the podcast yeah hi kriti uh, i'm doing good yeah so ayush so please tell us what are you doing currently currently i'm working uh, as a front end developer for a us based company so my role is to develop a uh, ui thing uh, uh, tracking the progress and uh, and doing the development work these things right so i used coming from uh, like i mean i just want to know ki how did programming happen to you how did you just uh, you know uh, what is the inspiration to become a web developer inspiration uh, actually i have seen a few of the uh, few of the person in my uh, hometown they were doing very good in uh, software and uh, they were they were living a very good life so the hometown the... is where is your hometown yeah it is hilsa hilsa, hilsa. oh okay so they were doing good and uh, from i i was in, in contact with them and uh, i was knowing well from there i i came to know about the software thing a bit about it and slowly i got interested in this so and I, during your I school moved. time was it during your school time yes after 10th acha okay after 10th you got interested in software development because your seniors were doing something crazy on that ah okay so did you complete a btech yes btech in what btech in electronics and communication engineering okay uh, from bihar only no from ranchi bit misra okay got it got it theek hai so how was your journey like from electronics how did you come into uh, software development um uh, uh at at the beginning uh, from the from the college time only I, i was i got interested in c I, i was doing well in c so from there i started started working uh, i started doing code and i got placed in in a company uh, at bangalore so i moved there uh, there i learned many things uh, about professional thing these thing means how pro- uh, how we do professional coding in college i was just doing the loop thing and these things means basic code basic coding solving uh, solving some puzzles these things i was doing so after coming to the company i i got i got in the professional coding means how 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 to build a proper proper product so these things i i know so from there i started my journey in in software development how long has it been uh, like you've been into software development it's been almost 6 years 6 plus years okay 6 plus years so um, and uh, like how did you come across pesto pesto actually after some time uh, i was planning to open my own own companies so i started doing freelancing so that was the motivation i got it but uh, somehow i i couldn't start up i was i was not getting the proper progress in doing that so uh, one day i was uh, i was uh, scrolling through the uh, social media so i got to know what pesto so i applied it there and fortunately i got selected there right yaar i mean we are very happy that you became a part of pesto so uh, how was your uh, journey like uh, obviously you joined pesto and you started uh, you know uh, learning about full stack development so how was the program journey for you it was very good uh, the mentor i got he was very he was very uh, good in, uh, in, in knowledge of software uh, apart from software there are many trade that we need to learn as a software prof- professional like uh, software life cycle managing the task uh, many many sideline apart from the technical knowledge many many sideline things are there so on on that part my mentor told, my mentor guided me to 
guided me very well and uh, on technical side also he, he guided me how to tackle the uh, interview at the bigger company like what they uh, what they uh, what they ask in the interview what they want in the interview and what kind of guy they want so guiding on those things was a uh, main thing uh, i got from pesto i know it's it's very very uh, interesting and obviously you learn a lot through your program because your mentor becomes the guiding force and uh, gives you a professional aspect to your learnings right yes yeah i know that it has been a challenging journey for you you already explained that you know coming from uh, bihar it it was a difficult journey for you to cope up to the it sector uh, it sector uh, you met with a lot of professional people you had to upskill themselves so i'm sure that pesto has also been uh, able to help you with the professional guidance because your mentor you said that the mentor also helped you so now that you're working with a us partner you know you're working with a very very amazing us uh, company so how is it what is the difference from bihar to working with us people how is your experience uh in bihar i was living my normal life but in coming to the uh, working part so i'm uh, i'm here, here a professional so i have to change my uh, change my basic from being normal to being professional means being on time being on um completing my task on time being punctual these things i i need to first first this these, these things are basic discipline so you need to be uh, at, at this part and apart from this uh, uh coming to the knowledge part uh, so uh, it means uh, you will have to tackle the situation with your knowledge yeah that is that, that is the thing right and do you think that uh, communicating with them becomes a challenge at times uh at at beginning you will have some hesitation hesitation but uh, later on it, it it will be normal so that's with normal. remote job do you think that over communication is the key like you have to have to communicate a lot because you are working remotely yes the, the more you will be expressive the more uh, less doubt will be there and actually doubt creates creates the problem uh, so uh, over communication is the best way to uh, to reduce any pro- any issues and any uh, problem in remote work yeah and uh, what about uh, like obviously uh, the culture is very different from what uh, we indians are used to we have a normal working hours and you're working remotely with so uh, what are the best practices that you use to make sure that you're you're working very efficiently uh, uh the first thing yeah there is a uh, every every company has their way to work so so i i got a task i i gave the estimate uh, and i complete uh, i try to complete my work within within the estimated time so that is a normal uh, normal process to complete any work so most of the company follow this these things only in, in some company may have different uh, different timeline different behavior but most of the company is uh, follow this these things only so yeah be 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 on your chart line so you you can take a look anything i think that is very 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 uh, i mean important and i think that is the best advice that you can give to the young developers also so coming to the pesto placements i know that uh, we have interacted previously also on this and uh, you have given a lot of interviews uh, what were the challenges that you faced because you were giving so many interviews with us partners and indian partners also challenges uh, there was no any challenges uh... uh if if you are giving interview you 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 should be ready to be face some difficult questions some out of the syllabus questions like that out of the box questions so you, that, that that you need to be ready that is not any issue but you need to be ready to to such questions so i know that interview during your interviews i mean anybody who is giving an interview would be very nervous so young developers also become nervous right because it's it's not easy to uh, you know express yourself uh, being a software developer so i use what do you think is can be a good advice in this situation if you are very nervous if you are very shy as a person and uh, you have to be into remote op- remote work uh first thing be uh, be expressive whatever is coming in your mind be uh, uh, say it means uh, filtered filtered thing not everything uh but uh, uh 
uh, coming to the nervous part, that is that is a, a, a means a no, normal thing, normal behavior. Everyone get nervous at their first first time. So that is a normal behavior. Just take one or two interview, you will get used to it. So yeah, that is that that is the process actually. I think uh, ninety to ninety five percent people get nervous at first time. So that is the normal thing. So practice, practice, practice. I guess that is the best thing that anybody can do. <laughs> Keep on giving interviews. Let's not shy away from interviews, Anna. Right. So uh, after your placements, like you got a hike of two x. That is crazy because uh, I mean, um, obviously, with you are working with a US based product based company. It's a startup, and they're working into. Uh, I guess they're working into crypto and blockchain. Web three, yeah. So how is your experience been like? Uh, I wanted to work in Web3. So uh, I, was I was actually, uh, I was trying for this company. I, I had given two or three other, other interview also. Those were for uh, Web2 only. So I was not interested in that. I was interested, interested in this. So I got this off offer and I was happy. And coming to the working part, uh, the working is very good. I, I'm uh, on the daily basis, I'm learning new things like uh, and the Web3 is totally new for me at that time. I, I had learned, I started learning on ba basic of the Web3, but uh, I was not getting much knowledge on that. And so uh, when you start working on something, you will get a very wide range of uh, things to know, like marketing, product, uh, uh, how business work in this domain. These things I I, I started to learn in, after coming to the this, uh, this company. It's, uh, I think it's it's very interesting to know that, you know, you are working into Web3. A lot of young developers will get in touch with you knowing that, you know, you can guide them to how to skill, upskill themselves into Web3 also. They can come to me. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ayush, I know that you're very active in the community. You actually love to help young developers. I know a lot of, lot of young, young Pesto uh, devs have come to you for help. So, uh, what what do you tell these guys? Uh, the first thing you need to, uh, on the technical side, you need to make your basic strong. And on other time, apart from the technical side, to cop up the interview, to uh, to, diff to overcome diff difficult tasks, difficult questions. So you that, that will uh, that will you you will take a lot by practice only. Uh, there is no other shortcut way. You can do Google and get the result. That, that that is a different thing. That is a shortcut kind of shortcut only. So when you work on on any problem with your your mindset with your mind, so you will get the proper result. Yeah, that is the only way. Yeah, I think uh, that's very important. And also, I feel that uh, uh, you know once you are stuck in a problem or once if if you're not able to solve something i think the best part or about pesto community is that you can go back in the community you can connect with our senior alums you can connect with the mentors so that actually they will really go out of the way to help you right ayush i am sure that you're a part of it and you've been doing it so uh, why do you think a young developer should be a part of the community pesto community uh, uh see uh, if you get, if you got a problem you can solve it in a, a one way but but that is not the uh, optimized way I mean, that is the, not the final uh, solution you can uh, do it better but uh, sometimes you are not getting any uh, other dimension of that uh, problem so you can con con contact contact or talk with other person he will give a different idea different dimension of that problem so that will that will expand your knowledge and that will that will that will expand your mindset also yeah, how to cope up different problems so the community is a good part to expand your knowledge one one person can know uh, one thing but 10 person will know 10 things so if you interact with 10 person then you will know 10 things uh, any young developer can join uh, pesto discord community and connect with us uh, individually also so we can we can guide them and we can uh, uh, help them in uh, getting ahead in career yeah, because uh, I think it's very important to have the right direction to move in the right way and get the proper guidance because that actually accelerates your career, right, for any young developer. Great. And uh, last question, Ayush, ki, what are your future plans? What exactly are you doing in the future? Uh, in my future plan, uh, currently, uh, I am looking forward to development, to gain my, gain, uh, 
more knowledge in this field where we are working in and be uh, versatile software engineer in this field only yeah i think uh, that's that's uh, we really hope that you achieve what you're hoping you're going ahead with <clears throat> web3 is the future that everybody talks about then i'm sure that you're going in the right direction and you're working really hard towards it so that seems really interesting thank you so much ayush i think you've given some amazing advice to the young developers guys ayush comes from a very small city in bihar he is a very humble very sweet uh, sweet developer that we have he's a pesto alum so guys he's worked really hard to achieve what he's doing he really he, his dream job was to work with a us based product based company and trust me he's worked really hard so if he is able to make this dream come true he has moved in the right direction i'm sure that you guys will find your way if you want any help if you want any guidance please connect with ayush he's there to help you guys on the pesto discord community become a part of the discord community we have a lot of workshops going on we have a lot of events uh, which will help you understand what career path or what kind of uh, path it would be bet best for you or what could be the shorter way to reach there right so apart from that uh, guys please make sure that you share like and subscribe to this channel why because it might help you and it might help your friends also if you share the video they might get motivated to work really hard towards their dream jobs right and uh, thank you so much ayush for connecting with us and sharing your journey uh, it really really helps it re and it will really motivate a lot, lot of young developers who are like you trying to uh, accelerate their careers into web development sure. yeah thank you